All right, everybody. Welcome to my uh, next review here. Now, I installed Zone Alarm Pro, the newest version I could find. Let's see if there's any if there's any updates for it. Nope, up to date. And um, I left it just like it installed it. Um, nothing's been changed. Show you we have uh, program controls just like where they have it automatic, medium, email protection is off, identity protection is off because we don't need it, browser security is on, alerts and logs, so everything's just like it has it. So now let's see how that new, uh, those couple of new additions that they have are working, if that community, that defense net that they have thing is working out. Now I know this is a firewall, it should be. Install with an antivirus. I know all about that, so I'm not gonna be harsh on it. I just want to see how it responds to um, certain programs wanting access. Looks like that one's not gonna let me in anymore. There you go. Do you want to save this file? Malicious software can har can harm your computer. Okay, so so far it hasn't said anything whether I should do with it. So we're going to run it, but it's going to check it. It's going to check to see if this file is safe. We're going to do an advanced scan. It's going to do heuristic scan. Oh, it looks like it found it. Malicious file. You can click for details. Zombie software terminates itself each time it's run, causing no immediate harm. However, certain conditions. All right, so we will delete the file. We will do the advanced scan. Okay, and looks like that one's malicious too. Okay, so far it's actually doing pretty good. Now remember, this is just a firewall with a, a basically cloud uh, scanning. It's kind of doing heuristic in the cloud. I bet you it's also checking it against the signatures that it has uh, in the cloud, too. Now, I would hope um, after I uploaded these files and they checked them and they saw they were bad, that the next person that maybe tries to open this, they'll get an instant response that the file is bad. Um, that way, the person doesn't have to wait like I'm waiting. With this one, they, they've probably never seen this file, this qd.exe, and that's why it's taking longer than the other two, because they haven't had a chance to analyze it. So instead of us waiting here, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back when it's done analyzing. Okay, so it's finally finished analyzing that file, and it says it's malicious. It says silently does not act like a legitimate installation software. It creates a new executable file in your system that can launch malicious behavior. I'm actually really impressed by... Uh, how good this is doing by itself. These are fairly new, fairly new links um, to the point of some of these had very. Uh, okay, so it says this one's safe to open. That might not be a good thing. Okay, we will open it because it is, says it is safe.
Now I'm wondering is if I, okay. I said before it might be in the cloud. I'm not sure if this is in the cloud or on my computer because here's the file running. I think it's on the computer because look at all these things that it has running in the background. So I think this whole uh, detecting it's running a uh, virtual environment on the computer, which is kind of cool. I was mistaken when I said it was in the cloud. Okay. So it is rather computer intensive, as you saw, it really was using a lot of uh, CPU time. I don't know if that works anymore. We'll move on. Okay, oh, looks like I found that this uh, website is suspicious. You can find out more about the website too. So yeah, so you can see that you can definitely see it going to town on the computer. There's that file. Okay, so it says it's safe. See if this last one um, now because this doesn't have an antivirus, it doesn't have a scanning engine, of course. So you would have to use something to scan with. Looks like this last one doesn't work. I don't think it worked last time either. If I remember, I tried this one before and it didn't work. Tried that one at the beginning. And this was the other one that didn't work. So I'm gonna be right back. See what? Uh, okay, that one doesn't work. See if I can get these two to pop up. Okay, that one doesn't work, and I'm gonna wait for this one. Okay, it looks like that one uh, timed out. So let me grab my uh, testing kit and uh, I'm going to install Malwarebytes and do a scan and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, here's the interesting thing. I was installing um, um, Malwarebytes here and it's got some kind of behavior component now too to it. It says setup slash uninstall is trying to launch um, system32 reg service whatever um, to use another program to gain access to privileged services. So, um, we'll allow it. That's kind of interesting, too. Oh, I uh, also want to tell you, because this doesn't have a scanner, I'm going to run CCleaner now uh, to get rid of all the temp files, and uh, then I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebytes. I'm going to also look to see if I have anything running in memory. And I don't think so. So there's, I don't think there's a point of restarting right now. Normally I restart um, if I see something out of the ordinary. No, I don't see anything. So I'm gonna do a scan and I will be right back. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning and it didn't find anything. So let's check out Hitman Pro here.
There you go. A little behavior blocker action going on. So uh, I'm actually pretty impressed um, by Zone Alarm Pro, the new version. It doesn't seem, it didn't seem to do too bad at all. Now, the only thing that'll impress me is let's see what kind of RAM usage we got out of it. Uh, if it's low, it's definitely a interesting thing. Oh yeah, look at that. That's not bad at all. Other than that one, that's part of it too. So we have uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 17 megs. Not the worst, not the best. About average. And there you go. That's actually uh, pretty impressive right there. Um, I like that. Zone Alarm did good. Um, so there you go. Surprising. I'm sure if you got it with the uh, their extreme security version, which uh, let me just go to go on. It'd do even better. Um, now, if I remember right, their extreme security is uh, running Kaspersky and en the engine in it, and right now they actually have a pretty good deal on it, forty bucks. for three PCs. So, uh, they have all these different additions and stuff for it, I guess, if you want that. Um, they really are pushing it, though. That's kind of... Eh, don't like how sites do that sometimes. So, yeah. Their Extreme Security 2010 uh, was probably a really good product. I'm sure it's probably pretty heavy on the computer, though. Um, so, I would... I don't know. I, I don't know if I would use it. This Last time I checked this thing out, it was really heavy on the computer. Uh, maybe if you have a fast computer, then yeah. So, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let's check out and see what... Uh, that was version 9.1.603. Yep. Alright. Guys, uh, talk to you later. Take care.